I was like I'm dreaming or I don't know what I was saying. Then he asked me, say, what did I say? I say, Major One, you say, uh, for example, I am like a man of God. He was laughed. Later, he come again. And he say, you are a man of God. I see you praying for people. Then he come to a point to say, I see a spider covering your face. But right now, as I'm speaking with you, the angel of God is removing your spider. It is done. Here, yeah. I now say, I receive major one. I went to Namibia. When I went to Namibia, that was in May. I used to buy timber. I bought timber, the timber got stuck a year. Every time when I go to the people where I buy timber, they tell me stories. No, come next week, no, come what, that timber stay there. But after the prophecy, when Major One say the spider has been removed, I went to the same supplier. I say, my friend, I have come now for the timber that I paid long time. They give me my timber. After I collect my timber, I came with it to Okahanja. I went, I sell the timber. When I sell the timber, that was in July, I buy the first car. That was the seven-seater I bought. I buy the first car, that was in July. I went back again. I buy the other timber. I come back. I sell, I buy the second car. <laughs> By that time, when I was bankrupt, everyone was saying, yeah, now this man he was using ritualists. He's now bankrupt, maybe he will kill his daughter or his wife. They didn't know that there is a major one to change my life. <laughs> yeah. Now, after I buy the second one, I go again, I bring the other timber. I sell, I buy the third one again. Yeah. I buy the third one again. I now, everyone was talking, they were quiet, they don't know now what to say. They, ah, now maybe there's some ways I say, praise the Lord God of Major One. You have changed my life and you even take a shame from me. Now, people, when I walk, they start asking me, long time, they don't ask you. Now they start, oh, my friend, can you buy me a cool drink or can you give me a ten around? The same people who were laughing at me, now they start now asking. I thank God who created Major One. May he live long, Major One. And I am happy today to testify on the first day of his birthday where he's now going to be lifted from the level where he was before. From there, the other testimony, my daughter, my firstborn, she's on the university. On the university, where she was writing, she failed. When just, she failed... Just a moment. Let's stop on the cars first. Before we continue. Which you came here in which month? In May. In May? Yes. As a poor man? Very, very poor, sir. Very poor? Nothing, nothing. May. July, you bought one car? One car. After prophecy? After prophecy. August? I bought another car. September? I bought another car. Every month? A car. What are you waiting for? Am I talking to somebody who is here or your home? Every month? Ah. What month is this? March? April, May, June, uh, 
I'm not, I'm not saying I receive here. You can't receive in March. You can't receive April. Ah, what are you receiving? March. Ah, look at these people. Okay, you don't know, you don't know what I'm talking about. Give him a minute. July? I bought a car. Okay. July, I bought the first car. Uh -huh. August, I buy a second car. September, I bought the third now car. Now you, March? April? May? Huh? A car? I'm not talking... You, this man, can I, can I show the cars again which he was... Show. Those cars, sir, they are nothing. Amen. When you move here, yes. Once you go back, two houses. I receive. I receive, Benjamin. I receive. Amen. I receive. Here yeah. and a Go car. Deeper. And a car, not a car. Amen. I receive. There are some cars when you are driving them. I receive, Bejawa. They shed the tears of joy. I receive. I receive. Yeah. Now stand here, stand here, stand here, stand here, stand here, stand here, stand here. The power of the Holy Ghost. Ah. I've said something. If I pray for you, talk about your daughter first. You. I lose your, your finances. This much business was stuck for one year. Do you have somebody who here who says, even in me, my business is stuck. My career is, do you have anybody here? This man, his life was stuck for one solid year. But when I spoke to his life, his life opened. We have so many people today whose the devil has closed their destiny. Now imagine this man was given a prophecy. I see a spider web on your face, which is a demon. And I said, and I remove the spider web from your face. And I said, you are free. Just that. That was May, month end of May. June, business began to move. Just like that. July, Bodeka. August, September. And he says, now I'm okay. Now I'm, you know, if he wants to keep on buying cars every month, he would be doing that. But he has en enough cars now, so no need to be buying cars every month. But because this man received his deliverance, and I have people here who says, even me, my life is stuck. My work or my business or my job, my employment, my career, something is stuck. I want to speak to you today. I am removing whatsoever is hindering you. I remove it in the name of Jesus. It is done. Tell us about your daughter now. Major one, my daughter, she's at the university. When she was making the second year, she failed. After she failed, she came back home crying, Daddy, I failed. She's doing biochemistry. I don't know something about calculus or what. I don't know. I have never been in that level, my major one. Now, that is maybe the subject she failed and she was now desperate since I don't have money. So the loan could not pay for her again. Because when you fail in our country, next year you must pay for yourself. Do this, you can do it also to my daughter. For the surprise, when she went there, the computer is being changed, it's no longer fail, it's pass. Now just, just, just hold on. 
She failed the exams. She failed the exam. After major anointing one. her, the results changed. The result changed in the computer. And said she has passed. The RTF passed. <laughs> Can we change computers right now? Even the money, can we change the balance? Yeah. Can we change something right now? Can we change? Where there was failure, can we put a pass, a distinction? Ah. Lion of Judah is dangerous. Father, I pray. To every person who is here. If you can change the results of examination, change your life now, 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 now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. So what happened? Last year, she failed again. She came with the same. Now, by next year, you must find money. I say, ah, my daughter, what are you doing at school? I yet took the Lion of Judah. God of Major One, you did it. Do it again. I said, do it again. Let there be a turnaround. What you did last year, do it again this year. Last year, this year, she went to school, January. The result passed. She now called me. Papa, there's no need of you to stress. She failed twice. She failed twice. And we changed the failure the Lion of Judah, Papa. God of, pass, Major, pass. God of Major One through the Lion of Judah. <laughs> Show her picture. Can I see her picture? Show her picture. In our family, we pass even we fail. For a moment, when we hear such testimonies, according to some people here, you may just look at them and say, wow. But for me, I'm thinking even now, to say, somebody who failed, and they give you results, you have failed. And then they take the line of Judah, put on her, and they say, go back and check results. Going again, finding pass. Now that is not only working with the computer, but also working with the management because they knew you have failed. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Lectures knew you have failed. But they wonder you are coming back and when they check in the system, you have passed. But they gave you. Did you? This is a miracle more than raising a dead person. Oh, I think we must do something now. Oh. Woo, come to me. Let me tell you something. God of major one is dangerous. Oh, I'm talking to somebody who is wrong person. Or, um, mm -hmm. Listen, I pray to every person where there was a negative result there shall be a positive result the same company that refused you to give that job same company listen after today's service go and consult the same company again this time around it's done in the name of Jesus listen the same place you felt the same place they refused the same place they said they can't do it. I am commanding you now, go again, the same place. This moment in time, it is done. They'll give you positive results. Even if you are HIV positive, go back and test. They'll say you are negative now. The way you are receiving, let me go this direction. The way you receive attracts God to give you something. Jesus. Are, are you happy? Major one, I'm very, very happy. I'm very in extent. 
I was even wondering also how the computer could change to pass. I was wondering. Then I praise God. I say, Father, let Major One live until my grandchildren also receive blessing from him. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Jesus' name. Go. It is done. Take it. Power of the Holy Ghost. Take it in your bones, in your flesh. It's in your spirits. I'll move around. I'm after here. Unfortunately, I'll not spend much time with you today. I will spend much time in the overflow and in the miracle tent. Oh, look at jealousy. It is because the way you are clapping your hands is. So, quickly tell us your name, where you're coming from, and your testimony, please. Greetings, sons and daughters of Major One. Uh, my name is Mteto Mbovane from Port Elizabeth. I would love to first say sorry to God of Major One. Uh, I had an attitude uh, to Major One the first time I saw Major One. Uh, when I visited my mother in King Williamstown, I went uh, uh, and I find my sister watching uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the God's channel. And I found this uh, young prophet. And I asked my sister, who is this now? I said, it's, it's uh, a prophet Bushiri. I said, oh, you like these guys? I, I was church-minded. I must say so. I must be clear. I was church-minded. I was so full of my church. So I went to my room trying to ignore the uh, major one. When I get to my room, I forgot that the cable that is, uh, is feeding my room is the, same, is the same thing that what my sister is watching there is what I'm going to watch. So I was forced to watch the same guy that I, I, I ran away from. I was watching. Hardly five minutes. There were so, so many testimonies. And I was uh, coming closer to the TV now. I started watching, watching, watching. I went to my sister and said, this guy is hot. So, so, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You said this guy is what? This girl, this guy is dangerous. Uh, very hot, very hot. I said, I, I went back to my sister. I said, where is this guy from? My sister started explaining. So I'm sorry, God of Major One, please forgive me. So sons and daughters of Major One, in the, March of Ma in the month of March, I've decided to visit that prophet that I've seen. I came here as an international visitor. Uh, I was somewhere here. Major said, uh, did you see that? Did you see what, uh, while I was watching you? I said, yes, sir, yes, sir. He said, there was a chain surrounding your face. But when I touched you, that chain broke in pieces. I was so happy because I was in church, but the, with the chain, and uh, nobody could see that. And the same guy that I tried to ignore, he saw the chain and break the chain. As if that was not enough. Major, I, I heard that major one uh, from, my, from my pastor, Pastor Martin, in Port Elizabeth. That major one is going to be in East London. I said, yes, I am going there. So I was, I was there in, uh, uh, that day. Around 4 o'clock, major one started declaring miracles. I receive, I receive, I receive. And we, be, we go back home. Eight minutes, uh, it was around quarter past eight, I received a phone call. And then I picked up. I said, hello. Um, and ma remember, major one said, I'm giving you, he didn't say that there's going to be a miracle. He said, I'm giving you 72, within 72 hours, you will receive a testimony. So by that time, uh, uh, when I received this call, I did not know who was calling. And the guy said, uh, we are calling you from the Department of Correctional Services. Have you seen that we send you an order? I said, no man, it can't be. Because the, these guys, they phoned me three days or four days back to say that I did not comply. There's something that, there's, there's something that I did not put. I saw I did not comply. There's an ASP certificate which I did not put for toothbrush and toothpaste. But they, they're telling me now that they give me the order. I went to my email. I find it there. It was three, uh, 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 three, 300, 351,000 of, of an order. As if it was not enough. Few weeks after, in the first of February, I received another email from uh, uh, HDA saying that uh, we have awarded you uh, two million three hundred and fifty uh, three hundred and fifty thousand nine hundred and ninety-one. Twenty houses. God of Major One is so dangerous. Major One doesn't know me. I don't know him. And I'm from Port Elizabeth. Major One is in Victoria. He did it for me. I'm testifying. You come also, you will see.
a le cova soprania I change your financial status I go upon the miracle God of wonders that brings finances where there are no finances to intervene in your situation receive in the name of Jesus hear this man the man tried to ignore me oh sit down for a moment if you ignore me I ignore you too this man he says he tried to ignore me but he didn't know I'm even in his bedroom as well I'm telling you this man tried he wanted the bedroom he found me there all he was saying were only testimonies and he said wow this man no I'll not say that part you will finish yourself he says I must go there myself and he says he hated me he ignored me because of his what church uh, we remember there are church and there's church I mean there's a church now so this man he says oh he comes here he says his church didn't see the chain and I say you come here there's a chain around your life I break it and the man got delivered and then again he attends my service and I declare I said 72 hours from now you're gonna have a testimony how many hours I thought you would receive or oh, anyway I said to him 72 hours from now and this man goes home same day he gets a call to the same place they denied him a contract the call it was in the, during the day or the night it was, uh, when, when they called me prophet it was early in the morning because it was, it was late uh, it, it was in the afternoon when you were declaring now, listen it was the following day the following day in the morning all right oh, tomorrow is what okay now so this man they call him they say we are giving you a contract of how much three hundred fifty one thousand is this man is happy oh my god this is a lot of money within two weeks he gets another one two million two two million profit three hundred and fifty thousand ninety nine uh, uh, ninety nine I can't even say it but it's there on the screen it's on the screen prophet it's so even if you just said two million is okay <laughs> even if you say it was 1.9 it's still fine now the man comes the testimony and there is someone here also who is sitting down in the over in the miracle tent miracle tent miracle tent even in the overflow are you there in the overflow listen the same God who did it for that man did you hear me he's gonna do it for you I speak an opening in your life I decree and I declare 72 hours from now uh, I open doors I open your finances I open your business I go upon the anointing of miracle jobs miracle job miracle job miracle job miracle promotion wherever you are receive your business receive your finances I open up I open your life receive listen to me now there's four million coming I receive I receive come Papa. come 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 it is done Jesus name I feel like something is just taking place right here. I can feel the spirit lifting people up. 
Kazufra Harizo, Rino Uja Sahazo, Kipra Nuja Frihanize, Makazo Pranijo, Renuva Rahaze Sipranus, Kanija Raha, Mento Sopra Haru, Rentizo Frahania Makuja, Zifra Hanize Baharuja. I open your gates, I open your gates. International breakthrough, international breakthrough, international connections, right now! In the miracle tent, miracle tent, can I, do we have overflow in the miracle tent? Overflow the miracle tent. I will spend all my day there. I'm coming. I will spend all my day in the miracle tent. I feel, oh my God, we have thousands of people in the miracle tent. Thousands and thousands. That times five of all of you here plus overflow. Times five. So why should I spend my time here? Why? Yeah. See the way you are receiving. People in the Minako tent are receiving. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. Look at that. Say, go there, Papa. Mm -hmm. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Ian. The power. power. My sister, quickly tell us your name, where you're coming from, and your testimony, please. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Maggie Dube, and I'm from Soshanguve. Last year, on the 26th of October, I came to church for a diplomatic service. Papa called me by name and surname, Maggie Dube, to the front. That day, he was teaching and he said, usually on Monday, I don't prophesy, but there are a few people that we should help. I came running to the front. And when the man of God started prophesying to me, he told me that I live 13 houses away from the T-junction. He told me that I have nine rooms in my house. He told me that my house has 12 windows. And that was true. And then Papa said to me that um, in your house, when I go in, the Lord is showing me pictures and the name Josephine, and that's my mother's name. Papa also mentioned my late brother's name, Libya, and my uncle's name, Edward, and even my teacher's name who was teaching me accounting last year. And he even mentioned a mark for one of the marks that I received, which was a 38%. And that mark, I received it the, the afternoon before the service that day. So, then Papa said... Are you the one I prophesied? Yes, yes, Papa. How many remember her prophecy? Ah. No, 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 no. One plus one is equal to two. You can question one plus one. But you cannot question two. Because two is the answer. Now, before we hear, now let's, the joy of a prophet my bishop likes saying, the joy of a prophet is when his prophecy comes. Hmm. Now let's hear something. So when... Were you not surprised when I mentioned your name? Yes and no, Papa. Huh? Yes and no, I wasn't so surprised, but I was surprised. When I mentioned the, the, your, your... I mentioned even 13 houses. 13 houses, Papa, how did the, you know? Huh? How did you know, Papa? I will tell you next time. These things. <laughs> Put the hands for Jesus Christ. So when Papa told me the things that I know, Papa 
was, was, was getting the attention of my faith. So when Papa, Papa went to the next level and he says that if I don't pray for you, I see you repeating. And indeed, I confirmed at that time, I was doing modules even for the third time, you know, doing something, you know, for the third time at school. So I was repeating. And then Papa says, I see this lady becoming rich, but the devil is trying to push her down, is attacking her. And then Papa also said that um, he sees me getting a job in one of the biggest banks in South Africa and also opportunities coming to my way. So then Papa prayed for me and he said, from now onwards, it will be only success and miracles. People of God, the next day when I got to school, the subject where I got 38%, surprisingly, most of the students in the class also got 37, 38, 39. And they said that they will change the way they weigh the marks for you to get uh, exam entrance. If they didn't weigh those, I mean, if they didn't change the way they weighed those marks, I would have gotten into the exam, but a significant thing wouldn't have happened at the end. So um, I'm, I'm starting to, to become a chartered accountant. So I need to do my honors, but there's a requirement of marks that I needed to get, and I was not getting them for three years. And then at the end of the year, I passed. What happened is that to get into honors, you need 57% uh, average. I got 56,5, and they rounded it up. And I just made it. Amen. And then, so because I passed and I got into honors, there was a bursary that I was applying for for three years. Um, I had it in first year and second year, and when I failed, I lost it. So I kept on reapplying in case I passed. Because I passed, I got that bursary, and this bursary is worth 106,000 rands. And I thank God for that. This bursary pays for my accommodation, it pays for my fees, it pays for my books, which are worth like 9,000 rands. It puts money in my meal card so I can just swipe and go get food. It pays my allowance and the electricity and the water, everything. Basically, they're paying me to study. So I really thank God for that. And um, when, when Papa said, I see a lot of opportunities coming to your life, um, a few months later, we got an opportunity, my business partner and I, to present our business idea at the Bank of America in Santon, Merrill Lynch, Merrill Lynch Bank of America in Santon, in front of some of their investors. So we got two potential investors, and one of the investors are interested in, um, in, in investing one million into our project. So we really thank God. Papa, I honor your God, and I honor you, and thank you so much for coming to South Africa. My destiny was waiting to meet you, Papa. Thank you. La la sha la la hu la 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 la. Oh 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 oh. no. La la la. You listen. So is a prophesied about your examination yes, is sorted sir. out. Yes. Is a prophesied about your financial doors to begin to open. Yes, sir. You see what happened there with Bank of America? Um, we got an opportunity through an, an organization that takes business ideas from the univer different universities in South Africa. So we got to the last level of the competition and then um, we went to the Bank of America to, to go present our ideas to pitch. So we didn't win the competition, but we got out with the most important thing, which are potential investors who are interested in our project. For how much? For one million. And the other one wants to invest over 500,000. I increase it to six million. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, Papa. Camilla, hey, look at me, Camilla, look at me, Camilla, look at me. I want to talk to someone watching right now. I release your finances now. I Take it in the name of Jesus Christ. I it is done. You, you have not seen anything. This is just the beginning. Yes, Papa, I receive. Hmm. Do I have to prophesy to someone also? Yeah. I speak an opening in your life. Yeah. Listen, as I prayed for her, her life just opened. Oh, you are not here or you're home or something? Can I also open your life? Are you here or you're home? I speak an opening right now.
Father, in the name of Jesus, hear my prayer right now. Open those finances stuck somewhere. Whosoever is responsible for those finances to be stuck, show your way, show your way, show your way, show your way. Jump with them, show them you are God who does not need a man in order to do something. Jump with them right now. Let a miracle be released. Like a sofradis. You will wonder, I've spoken as a prophet. Time has come where you must get what belongs to you. Receive it, receive it. Clap your hands for Jesus. Now, hey, just stand here. Just stand here. Just receive now. There's an anointing touching you now. <sighs> Take it. What a stomach. Quickly, what a stomach. Every person has a medium through which the Holy Ghost touches you as a point of contact. Now, if you're praying for someone, you must know where, where is the, that point of contact. Some people, she will touch their eyes, the Holy Spirit will touch them. Some is their hands, some is their head. And that one, it was her stomach. You can just pray for people anyhow. Ah. Hmm. There are some people when they're praying, they feel their hands shaking. Others, they feel their legs shaking. Others, they feel their stomach bubbling. Others, they feel they, they, just, they just shake their head. What does it tell you? <laughs> it's not only demons that touches people in different parts of their body, even the Holy Ghost. Jesus says, hmm, he says, rivers of what? Of living water shall what? Shall flow from where? From the belly. Can you imagine yourself poor in a, an anointing like this? Can you imagine yourself going to heaven and God calling you, says, stand there and ask your question, hey, I had put you in a big church where I was working miracles. What happened for you, woman, to be struggling like that? Can you imagine your answer? What excuse will you give today? Whether somebody likes it or not, something must happen. Something. I said something must take place. God, no, enough is enough. Something must happen now. Wait, it's just that you're not tired yet with your problems. When you are tired with your problems, you will tell me. No. Tired people don't look like you. It is only in the overflow where people are tired of problems. And in the miracle tent. You see, people who are tired of problems look like that. Who is in the miracle tent? Mm -hmm. Put the hands for Jesus once again. Are we together? Are we together or... Are we together or something happened? Are we together? Are we together? If you will not receive a miracle today, then I don't know. Who says I will receive today? Listen to me. We are about to finish our, our seven weeks of deliverance.
We'll be finishing next week, Sunday. But listen to me. If you are sitting down here, and deep down your heart, you know that all you want in your life is God to change your life. If you want God to change you, change yourself first. Let me tell you. Sometimes we are having people who are not ready to change themselves. If you sleep from 6 to 6 in the morning and you come to wake up in the night and pray for the miracle that I declared last week Sunday, then if you can't change even your prayer life, you, if you can't change your prayer life, your righteousness life, your seriousness life, God can't change you. Let change start with you. God is not a witch doctor. He is God. How many are saying, please, 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 prophet, please, I want to change my life. If you can change the way you talk, the way you think, the way you behave, God can change the rest. There are people who have got things in life who they are failing to let them go. Hmm. Like there. All of you sit down here. Sit down, sit down, sit down. There's a guy there with a cigarette in the pocket there. Cigarette in the pocket there. Come here. In a, an orange, orange, orange thing. Bring it. Look. Look. And I am here. He's sitting there. And I'm able to point him there. And I see the orange, orange cloth. And he stands. This is orange. And look in his pocket. Oh, maybe you told me. No. Huh? No, Papa. Speak louder. No, you didn't tell Who me. Who did you tell here? No one. And he is here. He says, I receive with a cigarette in the pocket. I receive. What did I just do? I put it in my pocket? Oh, no. This, this one was supposed to be in my pocket. He says, I, he puts it in his pocket. He says, I receive. <laughs> I receive. And God told him, he said, hold on. He said, son, there are people here who are not serious. They want to change, yet they can't change themselves. Sir, the moment you stop smoking now, <laughs> Prophesy, Papa. Your life will change completely. I receive, Papa. Stand up. Stand up. Jesus, you are free. You are delivered. Thank you, man of God. Huh? Thank you, Papa. You will never smoke again. I receive, Papa. Okay? I Go, receive. Throw this away. Your life is delivered. Your finances, everything is delivered. You're free. Hey, be careful. If I can see in your pockets. No? If I can see what is in your pocket. And if you are still doubting that what's happening here is real, then you and your mother, you are witches. I'm telling you. I am seeing someone who is in a verge of giving up because the situation has become tough despite coming to church, but nothing is changing. And this person is about to give up. I want to tell you, the moment you give up, the devil is going to take hold of you and you're going to become worse than who you are. And I want to let you know that a few weeks from now, God is about to restore you. God is about to change you. Don't give up yet. Don't give up. You are about to receive your miracle. 
God is about to change your story. Oh, we are having testimonies. I forgot. My sister, please tell us your name, where you're coming from, and your testimony. I greet you all, sons and daughters of Major. Uh, my name is Lindelo. I'm from Swaziland. Uh, when I first encountered the God of Major One, I was going through. When I first encountered the God of Major, I was going through a very difficult time in my academics. I had been accepted to a school, but I didn't receive a scholarship. Um, me and my mother struggled so much to make ends meet to be able to attend this school and we tried everything possible and it was just not coming together. We emailed the school trying to get information on how to receive a, um, financial assistance but we wouldn't get any response at all. I would make phone calls to the school, they wouldn't respond, the phone would go unanswered, they would not reply to my messages that I would leave and it was just quiet, nothing was happening at all. So I came as an international visitor around October the 6th, that weekend of October, and Major prayed for all of us, and I came believing that something would change in my life, and I returned home believing that something indeed had been done. Uh, upon re re see, um, um, getting back at home, I continued to connect with the channel, I continued to watch television when, ma when Major was um, administering live. On one Monday, a diplomatic service, it was like no other diplomatic service. I was watching as usual, but I felt a unique connection on this day. Major usually says that there's over a million of people watching, but I feel like that day maybe they were sleeping or something because Major was speaking to me alone. It was as if he was ministering to me and me only. He pointed at the screen and he said, within 30 days, receive your miracle. I, I have never received so much in my life. I received with all I had. And the day after, on the Tuesday, I went and made a phone call. I took a bold step and I said, you know what? Major said, it is done. I will go and make this phone call. And this time, I believe something will happen. As I called, the phone rang and rang. And this time, they picked up and responded to my phone call. I asked for information on how to go about applying for the scholarship and what I needed to submit. They gave me all of the information that I needed to um, submit on that day. I submitted everything. Within two weeks, I received an award letter. This is a school in America. They're giving me $56,000 as a scholarship for this year. The award letter is over there. I would just like to thank the God of Major because before I encountered your God, Papa, I, I, my life was completely different. I can say for sure that my life alone without the miracle that has happened is a testimony and I cannot, I cannot fathom how to even begin to thank your God, Papa. I, I, I acknowledge your God. I thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for all your prayers and all the things that you do in order to change our lives. Now this is a miracle for people who are watching on the TV, not you who are sitting here. You got on TV, right? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. Can you speak loud as I you receive I got it on TV, it? Papa. Oh, she's answering as she got runs. No. <laughs> this, these are dollars. Can dollars. you answer as you, you received dollars? I received on uh -huh. TV, Papa. Now, there is, you know, even how you answer. It's sometimes you answer in a rand way or in a dollar way. You, wherever you are. Watching me right there with your family, whether you're alone, I, I speak to you right now. Let there be a breakthrough in your life. Change, healing, deliverance, your miracle right now in Jesus' name. It is done. You, come here. Where's your mother? She's at home, Papa. Huh? She's at home. Is she watching? Yes, she's watching. Now stretch your hand over your mother. Now. Stretch your, your hand over your mother. Stretch your hands. Oh. Power. You and your mother, same things. Are, even your mother now, she's down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Power. Leko Zofradi. Today I feel like prophesying to everybody. I don't know what I'm I told you, 
Prophets don't want to prophesy. But today I woke up in a good condition. I'm in the mood. Prophetic mood. Castle Pradesh. Can we have another testimony before we prophesy to somebody? Today in heaven, let me tell you what is happening. They have all stood. They'll be watching what will be. Because today, I told you, I'll be dedicated, I'll be presented, I'll be established as a prophet from today. Now, whatsoever was happening since God called me when I was young, it was just a greeting, a training. From today, heaven, listen to me, heaven, heaven is just watching. The, in, in the kingdom of Satan right now, the devil they are also standing with the agents trying to see what's going to happen to this young man. How can we block it? Heaven with angels. Mikhail. Uriel. Gabriel. They are all standing. 24 elders, all apostles in the Bible, who you know, all prophets of old. Today, there is a meeting. There is silence in heaven and silence in the kingdom of Satan because today, heaven will establish someone. <laughs> Sit down. You have seen nothing. Hmm. After today, God has established me. I'm not prophesied to anybody. So I have to prophesy before being established. Because after being established, I must go and relax. But my friend, who was, was, was actually start from tom tomorrow's diplomatic service, right? We will actually start from tomorrow diplomatic service. Ah. But today, before establishment, I will do a good goodbye to my level. You know, I was in this level, right? I will do a crazy, a crazy good goodbye. But my question is, when I move out from this level, who must I give this level? That's a problem. The, the problem is, this level, who must I hand it over to? Oh, let's continue the testimony because very soon it's going to go. Oh. Yeah, very soon. You, you, I'm going to do a goodbye to my level and then get established. After established, I must what? Relax. So I must go sit down and talk with angels on the anointing management. How to manage the anointing of this level. Because you know I'm talking to you, right? It's not a thing I'm just talking to you. Even how the church is going to grow. Jesus. Jesus, I saw in the spirit when I closed my eyes, I saw like a sea of people. And I said, what is this? God said, this is 2016 ECG Church. Yeah! Jesus. Listen, if you are in the overflow now, praise God. If you are in the miracle tent now, at least oh, yeah. time is coming. And it has come. Whereby 
We'll be having 200,000 people to attend one service, and then we'll, we'll be having shifts. One, at least one hour prayer, and then you move out. Another shift, one hour, they move out. I'm talking about 200,000 people. You have not seen anything. Time where God will show the world that He is Yahweh has come. Listen, even animals, cows, which died, will be brought to the service and they'll be coming back to life. Coffins will be breaking coffins of people and raise people from the dead. You have not seen anything. People are people we are opposing, people we are opposing my lowest level. We are all how no, this can't happen. He can't walk in the air. Now you will see, not me only. There'll be times I will be putting my hand like this, raising it up. Those watching me plus all of you, you'll be floating in the air. And I will say, and I will say, oppose yourself because it is you who is floating. We all say, Jesus, we have not seen his power yet. You will see. Blessed are your eyes and blessed are your ears. For you see and hear things I see. which your parents, your grandparents, desire to see but they did not I see let me hear something please quickly tell us your names where you're coming from uh, and your testimony my name is Makama. we come from Box Bay, but originally I'm from Port Elizabeth um, my husband uh, received a call from his uh, aunt in Nelspreit and by then, everything was just a mix-up in our house. We, 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 we got married, and everything was just down. We, went, we, we were going, we were attending church, and uh, nothing was changing. And every time, every morning when we have to go to church, my husband would say, do we really have to go? Then I would look at him and say, maybe not, because it's, anyway, it's not going to change anything. So his aunt gave us um, a, 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 a call, and, but it was not the first time. She's been calling my husband and saying, um, if it's not you in the hospital, it's your son. If it's not your son, it's your wife. Really, what is happening in your house? You, everything is just mixed up. Financially, health, everything, nothing is moving. And then uh, my husband said, but we don't have the channel that you want us to, to watch. And he said, you must, you, must, you must have that channel. By tomorrow, you must tell me you are, you are watching Major One. Then my husband, um, the next day, he went to the, to, uh, near the mall to get somebody who was doing uh, DSTVs and stuff, and the, the guy came, and he started fixing everything. So we started watching the channel, and um, my, husband would, my husband decided, uh, let's go to church. We came, the first day we came, we were sitting in the corner there. When we were sitting, we, we were, it was our first time, we did not know what was happening. So um, we, we started receiving, and my husband said, yeah, yeah, it's exactly what is happening when I'm watching it in, in the TV. We, we, we believed, it just started happening. We, we believed and we received. And when we went out, out of the door that day, uh, we told each other we have received and things would change. It was not like the normal church day where we used to wake up and go to just to any, any church. It was different. This time around, um, my husband came or decided to come as an international visitor, and, and as an international visitor on the, from the 12th to the 15th. While he was here, or between the 12th to the 15th, Major One prayed for him. When the, uh, after he prayed for him, he said, it is done. We've been in and out of hospital, myself, my husband, and my son, Junior. But then um, 
Junior was the one who was sick at the time. Major one prayed for my husband and he said it is done. We drove back from church on the 15th, on the Monday morning at half past three uh, to fetch the children where we left them with their aunt. So we collected the children there. While I was picking Junior up from bed, I, 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 his temperature was too high. He was just weak and he was, his breathing was bad. He, he's, been in, he's been in hospital several times and we knew every month he has to go to hospital. But this time around, when I, I was picking him up from bed, something told me in my head, we're coming from church and Major One said it is done. So it should be coming out now. So he was burning and we didn't really know what to do. I told my husband, uh, he, he's breathing. What I'm worried about is his breathing. He's breathing very, he's very bad. And then he, he said, okay, well, let's just rush to Vergas uh, Hospital. It's the nearest hospital here. Yeah. So we rushed to the hospital. On our way to the hospital, I was rubbing Junior with the Lion of Judah. While I was rubbing him and praying, we, we drove to the hospital. When we arrived there, the doctor saw him. When he saw him, he said, but this child is sick. He needs to be admitted inside the hospital. Then um, he, he, he con the doctor continued to treat him. And his temperature went down because I was also rubbing him with a line of food. Now the doctor said, uh, after a few minutes, uh, but maybe you don't really need to, ad to admit him here since you mentioned you don't stay around, you stay in box bed. He is fine now. You can, you can continue uh, treating him and you must take him to, to, you must get his medication from the pharmacy and give him his medication. So we drove from the hospital because his temperature was down and he was looking better. We drove from the hospital to the pharmacy. We collected his medication. We went home. He was fine. We gave the medication and he was playing. Later on in the evening, it was worse. Now, this time around, everybody in the house, even because I have three sons and a, a daughter, even my, my children, they, 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 they didn't know what to, where to start, to start. And then uh, we, we all collected a towel, his medications, and his, 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 his pump, because he was using asthma pumps since he was diagnosed with adenovirus since 2013. So we collected everything that we, we could get to use on the way to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, I kept on rubbing him with the, with the Lion of Judah. And I would be asking my husband, what did Major One say? And he would say to me, um, Major One said it is done. Then I said, okay, then it's done. But we were going to the hospital still. When we got to the hospital, the doctor saw him and he said, it's another hospital now, another doctor. The doctor saw him and he said, but this child, he, he doesn't look to me like he, you should take him back home. I will treat him, but I think he needs to be admitted when he saw him for the first time. He saw him, I kept on praying quietly, rubbing him with the Lion of Judah. But then after some time, the doctor said, no, um, uh, his temperature is down, and to me, he, does, he doesn't look like the, a child that we can admit now. If there's a problem, I will still be here. I will be here until 12 o'clock. You can still come back, but I am sure you will come back because I'm not happy with his breathing. So the doctor was also doubtful. So um, we drove from the hospital to our house, knowing that Junior who has been in and out of hospital since 2013, and every month he would go to hospital. And when he gets there, he will be admitted. We don't come back with him for about two to three days. So after discharge, then he will be better. But this time around, from the second hospital, I took the line of Judah and I, I put five mil on, on it in the teaspoon and I made him drink it. After he drank that line of Judah, and uh, uh, he, 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 he slept the, uh, that night. From that moment going on, he has never used any asthma pump. He has never used any medication. He has never used anything. And he... Listen, can you show us the picture when you were sick? 
Do you have a picture when you do you have any picture? Hi. How are you? How are you? Huh? This boy. Hey, we are. Can I hear anything from the husband? Oh. This may look a simple thing, but I know how asthma troubles parents, especially when it is with your child. Now, just like that, the child became well. Just like that, he became well. He used to use a lot of different medications. We have them, we brought them here. He used pumps, he used another machines that will open his lungs because the doctor said his lungs has got but some gave, holes you in him. the line of Judah? I gave the line of Judah, and we have never used anything, and he's well. Are you happy, sir? I'm very, very happy because as I'm speaking, uh, he once went for, for a month with a Garden City Hospital and then the, they charge almost 230,000 rand for that month of which some of the money we couldn't afford to pay um, now followed by uh, hospital bills they want their money and they are threatening us that they're gonna lock me out if I don't pay all these uh, bills Touch your head. Perfection. Total perfection to the lungs. In Jesus' name. You too. Kneel down. I open your finances. It is done. Go. I receive. Can we clap our hands to our Jesus? Sir, quickly tell us your name, where you're coming from, and your testimony, please. My name is Brian Sono. I'm from Kizinton, originally from Lebombo. Papa, I want to say I'm a police officer employed at UVL SAPS. I'm assigned to investigate cases of murder only. Papa, last week, Sunday, there was a lady here who came from Botswana. She said she didn't conceive. She couldn't conceive. She came to show you that she is now pregnant. Hence, you said to her she's very clever. Because if she never came, her child will die in within two years. And then you declared, you said we must write major one on everything that we need on our diaries. On Monday morning, I went to work. I took all my murder docket, I wrote major one. On Tuesday, the 16th of this month, I was assigned with a murder docket of hijacking and murder. At first, I didn't want to take the docket because there's hijacking in between. But I was informed that murder is a higher charge. You have to investigate these two dockets. Because it was one docket, in t it was two docket in one. I read the docket. When I read the docket, there was no clues of how to start with my investigation. In short, there was no way I could arrest the suspect. I called the, the only person that is left there as a witness is the wife of the deceased. I called the wife of the deceased to come to the station for an interview. I put my docket on top of my table. Upon questioning her, asking her of what happened, she just started screaming. She said, major one. Hence, I've informed her that, mama, I, there's nothing I can do in, in this docket. And she's from Cameroon, and the husband is also from Cameroon. She just started screaming, major one. So I'm shocked. Why is she screaming, major one? Then I took note that she has seen my name, the name of major one written in my docket. Then I say, I noticed that this woman, me and her, we are connected. I said to her, Mama, where was your husband shot? She said, right in our entrance of our yard. I said, is there blood stains there? She said, yes. I said, let's go. We went, I was having my anointing oil with me, the land of Judah. We went to the scene. Upon arriving at the scene, I took the anointing oil. 
We spread it on the, on the marks where the blood was, on the blood stain. We prayed together with this lady. And in, within my heart I said, God of Major One, let it be in within 24 hours this suspect be arrested. God of Major One, I want to tell you that he is there. I left, I went home. The following day, at around half past three, I received a phone call. When I received the phone call, he stated that, are you Constable Sono? I said, yes. They said, we have arrested five suspects with a vehicle which was hijacked and the person was murdered, a white BMW. I was inside the car. You should have seen how I screamed. I climbed out of the car. I started doing the dancing. I started dancing. I think the taxi drivers asked themselves, is this policeman mad? Can you dance again? The dance of Mejawa. <laughs> Prophetic dance. Prophetic dance. From there, I w they called me, they said, please come quickly to Hebrew police station because they were arrested there. Then I said to myself, they are not calling Costa Bolsona. They are calling Major One. Even my walk started to change because I knew that the Holy Ghost is in, in me. When I arrived at the Hebrew, I walked as Major One. Everyone asking me, are you Constable Sono? I said, yes, but in, within me, I said, no, I'm Major. <laughs> Papa, I want to say, this suspect, they were not only arrested. They were found with AK-47 in the car. They were also found with a pistol that was linked to the murder of the, the, the person that was killed when on the hijacking. Furthermore, this suspect, Papa, they are linked into other nine cases around Gauteng on which one of the cases they have murdered two policemen. So, Papa, I want to say, this is not the work of the police. This is the work of the line of Judah, the work of God of Major One, Papa. When you said it is done, you said we must write. Whatever instruction you tell us to do, Papa, we do it. I want to say thank you, Papa. It's just that Peter couldn't bring the deceased wife because yesterday she flew out of the country with the cop back home to Cameroon and she said she will never come back to South Africa. That is only the painting part. But I have the pictures, Papa, but I can't show it. And it, due to investigation, is still pending. All these dockets are assigned to me. I will be investigating them, Papa. Can we arrest someone again? Yeah. Every person, even those who have not yet come and attack you, before they come to your house to attack you, I arrest them in the name of Jesus. I see. Even those who are running away, Oh, yes. I arrest them right now in the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. And you. Oh, I can give you this promotion. Thank you, Papa. I receive, Papa. Come, 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 come. Take it. It is done. Are you receiving your promotion? You know, if people want to mess with you, my God will mess with them. We are untouchable. Oh, yes! We operate from the mountain perspective. Oh, yes! We are from the mountain top. Oh, yes! We are people of class. Oh, yes! Unshakable, unmovable, undefeatable, untouchable. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. Tell me, what can I do? Because I can live without you. I can live I need you to take control. Go 
for Jesus, everybody in the house. Come on, you can clap your hands to the King of glory. His name is Yahweh. I am who I am. Let's continue. Please tell us your names, where you're coming from, and your testimony. Uh, my name is Shoniwa Mungate. I come from Zimbabwe. I'm a farmer there, and this is my wife, Esther. Uh, it happened that my life was a shamble. I couldn't do anything. I had the opportunities, but at the end of the gate, I was always a loser. So what happened is, one day I was seated in my house, and uh, it happened that I was looking at the channels, gospel channels, and I happened to open major one. And I told my wife, my wife, the life I am in, I think this time I've got the really goal. Now, my really worry was, whatever I used to do, things didn't work. I'll give you a very good example. Last year, but one, I went to Iran. I, uh, with the group I was, I was chosen to supply some oil. The 21 million liters came to Baira. But there is this I am talking to you about, which was defending whatever I was supposed to do. So what happened is the 21 million came to Baira on a S SFI, which is I was supposed to sell the diesel and return the money. My own government, my minister, refused to sign for it. Until they retook, they said it was expensive, and they took it to, to Tanzania. It showed there was something wrong with me. My three cars, very beautiful cars, until today, they are all down. My tractors are down. And I said to my wife, we need to look for a reason. When I came here on the 16th as an international visitor, I, was, I came here because I was now trying to start a company of brick making. I never thought anything was going to happen to me. As I told you, I had my own uncle, which I had the belief in. But with major one, it was a different case. On the 16th, when I came here, everybody was being called. I went to the line. He looked at me. He took his time. Then he just held my head. The next thing he said, is done. So when I went back to Zimbabwe, my wife asked me, what happened? I said, nothing. Like I've told you nothing because he just told me, it's done. And he just put his hand on my project. The minister, the project was two years now with the minister, he was not signing. So on the third day, I had my oil, which I got, uh, I, 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 I had from here, we were all given oil by, the, uh, by major. So I started using my oil, my wife took some, started using. And the comment my wife said, he said, look at this. My wife was, was only keeping about 4,000 chickens. She started keeping 15,000. He said, it's working for me. This is exactly what she said, it's working for me. And nothing happened to me. One day, the third day of my arrival there, as I was sleeping, major one came to me. 
He talked about the verse, I can't remember, but he was talking about John. He said there are other things which we have to make you uh, faster for yourself, to deliver yourself. So I am giving you, you have got to faster. He gave me the days. So the following morning I woke up and said, Major was here. He told me to fast. The way he came, I think I must fast. The next thing I fast, I followed exactly the first week from 1979 up to the day I finished the fast telling, I never drank some water. I never ate onions. I never ate eggs. A lot of things my wife was thinking of cooking in the house. She had not to do it because she knew I didn't like those things and they were not supposed to be in the house. But fortunately, uh, on the day of finishing, the last day, I saw an angel who came to me. He said, throw, throw away everything. I went to the house where I used to go. I took everything. I followed exactly what the angel told me. Today, I can eat all those things. I'm a free man. I'm a free man. But there's something I, I, which was still pending. I heard that uh, the minister had not signed my contract, my form for the license for making those bricks. Because I am near big companies brick making. My farm is just in the middle of where there are those who know from Zimbabwe. So from it was not signed. It was not signed for, for two years. For two years. Now that I was free. The third day after my fasting, I received a call from the minister. He called me. He told me he wanted to sign. And he signed my license. And he's uh, crying. He's even crying. And, and, and when he signed my license, he's even crying. Uh, I, I said to my wife, no, I think it's done for me. I'm now a free man, and uh, now we can do whatever we want to do. The next three days after signing of the minister, three companies came to me. They were all fighting to join me in this brick business. One, the first one uh, proposed 14 million U.S. dollars. The second one proposed 18 million. So I thought 18 million to me is enough. My wife said it's enough. Let's go. Little did I know that the God of Major One wanted to show me what he did least. The third company came to me, it signed me, which I signed. But before that, I said, now I must rush. I came, I told you my cars are not okay. My wife is the leader of, uh, is working with the government. I cannot take her car. So I was using a bus. It failed me at, at Messina. The time I got here, I managed to see uh, Pastor Sam, he was so touched with my case, but he said it was too late because already it was evening. So I went back, but he promised and he said you must come back and testify. So today, I will tell you a secret which happened. When I went back, I said I didn't see the, the prophet to my wife. But what I will do is this time I will take the highest bid. And on the day of signing, the person said, I know you have left two people. I will be giving you 30 million for your contract. But for the next 10 years, American dollars, for the next 10 years, I will be paying you a holiday allowance of 1,000 US dollars per month for the next 10 years. And on top of that, 
Uh, what did you come? I said, I come with my wife's car. He said, no, can you go to the garage? They bought me a car. Where are you crying? Where are you crying? <laughs> it touches my life. Huh? It touches my life. I don't know where you came from. Huh? I don't know where you came from. It touches my life. You hear this man? You hear this man? This man, he was a ritualist talking to spirits of dead people who died in every 14 something, 1400. Now look at his situation. Since 1979, he never took water. He never drank water. He had his own powers was talking to. Now I want you to see the connection of prophets and angels. Just listen. The man came here as an international visitor. His wife, her business was moving, she had only 4,000 shekels. And I looked into his eyes for some time, touched his head, touched his documents, and they said it is done. The man went back home, still having the charms in the room. Then, right there, she saw me, in a, he saw me in his dreams, telling him, and I said to him that he must fast. No, you don't be hearing this. <laughs> and then after seeing me in the dreams, I want to see, just to see the whole story. You will follow it nicely if you are seeing the story. Don't just see the testimony, see the story of his life. Remember, three cars not working, trucks not working, contract for two years. Nothing, minister not signing for two years. And the man is struggling, no money. Now remember, He's, after I came from here, he sees his wife from 4,000 shekels to 15,000. And the wife says, me, it's working. But him, nothing is working yet. Immediately, look at the story. In three days later, he sees me in his dreams. Three days later, an angel appears. And he says to him, remove everything. That you are using and do the fasting and he gave him the whole instruction and he did that soon after fasting three days later the minister called after two solid years now if you cannot see the connection of a prophet and angels and if you cannot conclude to say there must be a divine thing on this prophet why the prophet angels all these years no any angel appeared in his life until i touched him you didn't hear this since 1979 he never drank water not, not onion nothing immediately i touched him he says the contract opened up he began to eat things he has now a new car same day look at this one comes with 14 million dollars, not runs. One comes with 18 million. And one comes with what? 30 million. He says, I'm going to put this 30 million in your business. Apart from giving you 30 million, every month you'll be receiving house allowance of $1,000. Did you hear that? You are given 30 million plus for 10 years, you'll be receiving $1,000 a month for your house and a car on top of that.
Where, where were all these things? Now you may ask yourself, you know, why, why am I struggling? The foundation of this mass problem was in the spirits that were under control. You may not know, but the spirits of your forefathers may be affecting you today. You may wonder nothing is moving, but there must be something in the foundation that is controlling the lack and the misfortune and lack of what you are, I mean, I mean and, and the source of why you are going through what you are passing through today. Until this man met me, touched him. You came on which date? 16 October. 16 October. How many months ago? You gave me... You How many months ago? Huh? Uh, 16 October this last year. How many uh, months ago? Uh, four months. Four months. Yes. And now you are a millionaire. In four months, the money comes back. He says, now I'm talking about 30 million dollars. I have a car. I have... Yeah. In four months. He struggled for two years. The fact you are seeing the prophet now marks the end of all your problems. I receive. Uh, you see the man. The man went home and said what? Nothing happened. What happened? He said what? Nothing happened. But, you know, he thought I'll be telling him all oh, this said nothing. Like some of you. You live here. You'll be saying what? Nothing. Miracle tent. Are you there? Miracle tent. Nothing. But is it true? You, is it true? This man, something happened. The prophet laid a hand on him and on the documents and said, it is done. I don't just talk. This man today is delivered. Can you give, a, give the wife, the wife, she has something to say. How do you feel, woman? No, I'm so happy, you know, to live with someone who is possessed. At times, he does things that doesn't make you happy. Especially my husband could go marry other wives, saying that they are the wives for the spirit. And I had to live a very tough life. And now, from the day he finished fasting, I, he changed, his character changed. He's now a happy man. We are now husband and wife. At times, we we'll live. I would live without a husband because you would always be possessed. No. Where is this? Come in. There's a man that I'm seeing right now is to deal with a contract, not the one you have spoken here. Yes. There's another contract I'm seeing, like of supplying or something, because I'm seeing there's a person, like an Indian, an Indian, yes. that I'm seeing a connection. No, there's a, there's a man who was thrown out of uh, Zimbabwe, who is saying, take over everything for mines. And, um, He's trying to tell me to collect everything so that I start my mining. It is done. Go. Daddy, Papa, a miracle has just happened here, Daddy. Tell me something. Daddy, when a lady with TB was testifying, you declared healing, Daddy. So this lady has been having a TB of the spine for the past Four months, Papa. She could not walk without this walking stick, Papa. And when you declared healing, she was just sitting down and she received. So she wanted to visit the toilet. And when she woke up, she realized that she didn't need the stick anymore, Daddy. Now she's free. TP is gone. TP gone, Papa. From the spine. From the spine. Somebody shout. I don't believe it's me. I don't believe this. I 
don't know what to say. <laughs> what happened? What, what was your problem? I have a TB spine for four months ago, and I'm, tr I'm drinking a treatment for TB. And I came here, when I came here for the first time, I was on the wheelchair. And I came for, sec for the second time, and I was walking with one stick. But I realized that when I don't have this, I will fall. And th uh, today again, I came with this again, with this stick again. So you, you could fall without it? Uh, yes, I, I, I was feeling like I will fall without it. And today, when, Prophet, when you are preaching, you say, receive your miracle. And I feel more, more strength to my legs, to my two legs. I feel like, I feel like I, I must run, I must run. And one day, when I was at my home, I dreamt you, Papa. You was looking at me like this. <laughs> walk. Walk, walk yourself. Walk, walk yourself. Walk. Jesus! So pray, glory be to Jesus, glory be to Jesus. Glory. Listen, she got a healing. She said she came on the wheelchair and walked on the wheelchair, but she would still feel a problem. And today is us talking, just like I'm talking to you. Things are happening at home. Things are happening at the workplace. I see perfection, 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 perfection. TB of the spine is the most dangerous TB. A spine cord is the most sensitive organ. But imagine, it's gone. Nothing now on the spine, nothing. Nothing. Healed. Huh? I was having a big bone here. That bone is gone. Ah, it's gone. It's gone. Here. There was, there there was, was a big bone here. Ah. There was touch, a big bone here. Touch here, Papa. It's gone. It's gone. Oh. Hey.
Taking place, Casoroso Fradija. The Holy Ghost is moving in this place. Oh, yes. Come here, just come here, come here. Come, here. you are healed. TB is gone. Imagine the bone disappeared. She's free. You are healed. No more again. You won't be sick again. Just walk with the strength. Go, just go. Go. Come on, somebody put the hands for Jesus. Yeah. 